Alrighty, my friends, we're going to go ahead and bust this open, see what we got here. Let's go ahead and go over this guy. I'm telling you, I'm stoked about this one. This is awesome. What do we got here? Okay. Oh, that is sick. Alright, this is very important. The KISS flight controller. If you got the V1, the white cables goes to port 2. If you got the V2, white cables go to serial 1. Make sure you guys are being careful. I believe that if you screw that up, your flight controller and stuff is just going to burn right up. And that would be no bueno because we need our flight controller if we're going to fly our quad. So, alright, in the package we got the PDB. Wow, I, that's just gorgeous. We've also got double-sided sticky tape, but this is a special breed of it. This stuff is super, super thin. It's super, super sticky. It's really hard to get uh, peeled to. It's very important to use like a razor blade and just kind of nick the edge a little bit to get it off for you. All right, next, let's see what else we have in the package. We'll slide this over for a sec. Let's see what else is in here because we're going to need our cables and stuff. So let's see what we got. All right, we've got an XT60. A good looking one too. This is a good looking XT60 cable. We got that. We've got our standoffs, which are very awesome. I like these. This is something about the uh, steel PDB, which is also very common for Kiss. If you're using Kiss, you guys might not be running Kiss with this, but if you are, uh, that's that's one of the things I like about this. The steel PDB comes with plastic. This, in my opinion, is much better. I mean, look how I screwed those together. Look at the flex I've got. If that doesn't give you an idea of how awesome this is. So we're going to set those aside. Looks like we got a little microphone here. If we want to solder that on, we can use it. And here is our connector pin. So this is what it's talking about right here when you're doing your, your deal. You're going to want to follow this. The white cable goes to serial one, and obviously the black cable is going to go to the other port. This just plugs in here. Alright guys, so we're zoomed in a little bit here. We're going to go ahead and go over this. Make sure, depending on your Wolf PDB, make sure which one you have because if you have version 2, it is a little bit different. If you have version 1, that is a little bit different. There's not much different, but what is different is the cable harness because this is what relays everything that's on this pad. I mean, everything you got here. All of your pads is going to shoot through this PCB board and it's going to coordinate through this right here. So if it's off, you're in big trouble. You're going to fry a bunch of stuff. So I want to go over this real quick. If you're not running KISS, uh, some of the stuff is going to be a little bit different. Like you're only going to need two wires. You're going to need a ground and a signal. So you have your signal wire here and you have your ground here. That's all you're going to need if you're not running uh, KISS. If you're running beta flight, that's all you're going to need. You're going to put a signal here. You're going to put a ground here. If you're running KISS, you're going to put your telemetry wire here. And then you also have your positive and your ground. Let's go ahead and roll through this real quick. For the VTX, your VTX solders up here. VTX, you got audio out, video out. You've got your high voltage power, and then you've got your ground here. Okay? This is going to be your TX and your RX. Uh, if you want to use the microphone that came with it, I showed you guys that. That's this little guy. If you want to use that, you're going to solder that right here. Make sure you line up your negative and your positive. This side here is going to be your camera. You've got your ground, your 5-volt power, video in, and then your OSD. And then the same goes all the way around for your four uh, ESC connections. You've got positive, ground, and then you've got your ground and your signal and your telemetry. That's pretty much it. When you get into your GPS stuff, that's all over here. I don't know if you guys do GPS. I really don't. If you are running sp uh, Spectrum, you're going to use this right here for that your 3.3. If you're running uh, S-Port or anything like that, I mean FR Sky or anything like that, then you're going to use the 5 volt, which is this one. You have your RSSI in, and then if you're going to use LEDs, you're going to use that here. And then make sure you solder on your XT60 cable right here, positive and ground. Other than that, there's not much else to the Wolf PDB. What we'll do is, in a later, later video, we will go over... Uh, how to actually wire it up and connect it with different stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to throw this guy inside of the Impulse RC 
OSD configurator and we're going to set this thing up real quick make sure everything's working man I just love this board I mean that's just a good looking board to me man that's phenomenal you know quality when you see it guys alright let's move on alright guys we're moving on to the next step we want to go ahead and jump in the configurator and we want to set up the OSD in order to do that we got to get our iron nice and hot and we need to get this lipo connected you cannot just uh, plug it in you have to have lipo power to be able to do it so we're gonna go ahead and set this up let's get this pad tinned it's important that you know we are not going to be doing anything fancy you know we're just gonna connect this up real quick and then that way we can go ahead and pop it in the configurator sorry I was thinking about five other things at the same time so this is not going to be my permanent connection we're gonna take it back off for the build and I will be doing that with you guys if you're interested in seeing it let me know but right now we're just trying to get connection so let's get this on here boom there's our ground and then now we are going to connect the positive okay oh I pulled off too fast give it a little blow alright then we want to check make sure nothing's touching we're not looks good alright let's jump in alright so I'm gonna put a link in the video description of this page here once you're here, depending whether you have Mac or Windows, you will decide, click, and download. I'm going to open this now that it's downloaded. Let's install it. Okay, guys, real quick, I want to go over a couple things. With the Impulse OSD, it will communicate with your Betaflight flight controller using the UART. So choose any free UART on your Betaflight flight controller and solder the RX from the large white plug on the Wolf PDB to the TX on the UART of your Betaflight flight controller. And do the same vice versa with the TX. In the Betaflight configurator, go to the ports, select MSP for the UART. You have the Wolf PDB connected to and then click save and reboot. Re, uh, save and reboot <laughs> if you wish to use the ESC telemetry like if you have BL Heli 32 or KISS ESCs and you wired up the telemetry wire for each ESC to the Wolf PDB that's the one that we talked about and I showed you guys uh, go ahead and solder the wire telemetry from the large white plug on the Wolf PDB to any free UART on your Betaflight flight controller to go to the RX, you know, and uh, then go to the ports tab in the Betaflight configurator and select ESC as sensor input. Click save and reboot, go to the power and battery tab of the Betaflight con uh, configurator, select ESC sensor for both uh, voltage meter source and current meter source, and then click save. And then if you're going to be doing GPS, there's a lot more to that. But like Betaflight 4.0 and higher, uh, you're recommended to use because there's just so much going on. Connect the GPS to the Wolf PDB in the Betaflight configurator. Go to the configuration tab. Turn on the GPS and select MSP as the protocol. There's no need to configure a serial port for the GPS, uh, you know, since it's pushed through the same serial port of the wolf pdb is connected to so the wolf pdb will then push the gps data to the beta flight flight controller and you can configure and use the gps rescue in the beta flight configurator just simply assign a switch for it under the tabs and modes you guys know how to do that basic stuff if not drop me a little comment in the bottom and i'll walk you through it or i can make a video on it whatever helps Alright guys, and welcome to the Impulse OSD Configurator. Man, this thing is lost. There it is. This thing is pretty sweet. Uh, I mean, it doesn't get better than this. It does update in real time. So if you have it soldered onto your quad and you had your goggles on as you click the update, it will change immediately. 
please keep in mind that if you don't save it, it's not going to keep the changes that you made. So we're going to walk through this real quick. It's pretty self-explanatory. You got the call sign, which is your name and stuff like that. You can change all of that. You've got a timer. You've got RSSI. You've got your throttle position. See, this is at 18%, but it's not plugged in. You can deal with your voltage, your full lipo voltage, cell voltage, the voltage capacity, currents, watts. I mean, this is phenomenal. Your video transmitter. You've got your milliwatts. You can even put your channels. You know, hey, look, I'm on F8. You got your GPS stuff for the GPS guys. I mean, this just gets... I mean... I can't even get over how amazing this is. You got your ESC data if you want to list it. Then you can go ahead here and choose different icons that you want to see. So let's turn these on. So look at that. You got different icons. Okay, so you can move stuff wherever you'd like. So I want to put my big bad right here. My timer. See, check this out. So like, I really don't want a timer. So I'll just take that off. This is GPS stuff. I'm going to go ahead and go to gps and i'm gonna turn this off because i don't want it my milliwatts i do i guess i don't need to see it but we can set that here we'll set our channel here i like my name here i do love my amperage it reminds me of the steel pdb i keep my voltage there we'll put this here i like the battery icon i mean this dude this guys this is really great i really really like this this is awesome look at that and now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. There's other stuff you can do. You can change your video mode. You can even change your thoughts. Let's get, uh, let's try that out. There we go. I like that. That looks good. And then we'll hit save. So other than that, I think you guys can go ahead and handle it from here. It's uh, not that complicated. If you have any questions or you need any more assistance on this, feel free to drop a comment and I'll get back to you and help you guys out with that. Stay tuned and happy flying.